Aaron, it's good to see you again. Yeah. For a film, I mean, it's epic. But when we're watching it on screen, it is brutal and bloody. But I imagine when you're making this film, not so much. So what's it like when you watch it back and you see, because there was moments where I'm like, I'm going to vomit at that scene. It was, <laughs> it was hard to watch. Was it like for you? Because in, in the moment, I assume it's, it's not that bad. No, I'd say it was just as bad as you, uh, you saw it. I mean, obviously, uh, no one actually got... Uh, hurt the same way that you see, but um, Mackenzie is the master of creating um, a kind of realistic, authentic uh, 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 energy, you know, like he, he, he finds the best sort of locations and then, and, 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 and the conditions are harsh and, you know, in the middle of nowhere and it's cold and we've got chain mail on and, and uh, it's an emotional, brutal scene and, um, you know, and he allows us to play. So. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there was a lot of authenticity in there, I yeah. think, you know. I heard Chris say, though, that one of the reasons why he wants to do it is because he's always wanted to be in Game of Thrones. Is is that how you felt as well? Is that something you'd always wanted? You know, I, I really wanted to work with Mackenzie, and um, I can see why Chris, you know, he already had that relationship uh, uh, prior to making the movie, so um, I think it's a no-brainer because, you know, I'd work with Mackenzie again. Um, and uh, yeah, I can see where his resemblance kind of lies in the fact that you just get to, you know, there's a definite element of, uh, you get to that, that sort of, that very, that boyish side of you can come out and you can, you know, ride oh, a horse one yeah. hand and swing a sword and stuff, so yeah. You want it to be fun as well. Of course, you know, and it was. So. Yeah, and you obviously you had the boot camp, like you said, and you learned yeah. to do all that stuff. Yeah. Is that something you're gonna, you're gonna keep up, you're gonna keep up with the horse riding and? I'd love to. I mean, I really enjoyed horse riding, and uh, and, and my daughters ride as well. So, uh, so yeah, I like the idea that uh, I should try and keep it up. Um, you know, keep your heels down. Yeah. You always got to keep your heels down. Do you think it's going to be like a brave heart for a new generation? Well, I think it's definitely. You know, I like to. When Chris sort of talks about this, uh, and I think it's interesting. It's sort of a, a modern day man, and but obviously it was. It's a 13th century historical moment in time, but uh, you've got Robert the Bruce, who's, a, who's, a, who's different to William Wallace, who was, William Wallace was someone who was, uh, you know, worked his way up from the bottom. He was, a, you know, a nobody in a sense of like, uh, you know, that was his, the, he was a villager who worked his way up, right? And then, and, and, and Robert the Bruce was, you know, a nobleman who was privileged and put in that position and had to make the decision to kind of give up all that. Yeah. Um, and then he was deemed an outlaw. So, um, so you've got a complex man who's, who's, who's got a lot more to lose, he's got more to lose, whereas William Wallace had kind of nothing to lose and had everything, he was all patriotism, yeah. right? He was kind of our, our heroic, yeah. our obvious hero. And uh, Robert the Bruce has a more complex story of having to give up the materialistic things. Yeah. And, uh, and his uh, position to be uh, a hero. So it's an interesting kind of more modern day scenario where you'll want someone at the top to kind of go, all right, I'll give it all up and, and do what's right for their country rather than try and uh, play well, the politician. Yeah, you know? well, I think it's quite nice if it does become as much loved as you know, and Braveheart. So it's one of those shows. Yeah, it's one of those films I mean, that you I always think, put on. Yeah, and I think you know, it's a historical moment that people can um, get behind. I think you know, Robert the Bruce. There's a statue of him in Scotland. It's one of you know Scotland's historical, you know, most historical moments. You know, it's a it's a, a story of the underdogs, really. So you know. Well, every so. time I see you, I feel like I'm talking to you about a film where everyone's like, Aaron is the scene stealer, and this is a another one of those. Well, so that's very kind of you, long may it continue, Aaron. Good to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>